Hello, book group. My name is Colson, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you the breeding guide to all these yeah. animals that I know of. Okay, so the first one is the newest animal, which is the llama. These guys breed with hay. And I have them lead it up. They will produce a baby llama. You're able to put, this is just a mini lesson, you're able to put carpet on them and it'll just make them look like this, I guess. Like a certain type of carpet will make them do that. Okay, next is rabbits. You're able to feed them a dandelion, a carrot, or a golden carrot to get them to breed. Look, I'm gonna do there and there. They should make a baby. Hey, what does it look like? Oh, it's cute. Shut up. Okay. Next, we have tamed ocelots or cats. They really just bite any fish. I'm pretty sure, but I like to just use raw fish because it makes more sense. Oh, that's cute. I'm pretty sure. I'm um, depending on the cat type. It'll do that. Also with the llamas and the bunnies. And now with the dogs. Wait, I want to I check something. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of these. Now you're able to tame them. Well, oh yeah. To tame these, you have to use fish to just creep up on them. Uh, there's an entire thing for that, but not right now. Okay, so... Now we got tamed wolves, to tame them, bone, and you can use any type of meat. I just like to use pork chop. Stand up. Okay. Now, pretty sure because they're different colored collars, for sure the baby, the baby should have, I can't tell. I thought it would be an orange. Okay, so now up to the chickens. Now chickens love seeds, any type of seeds. Let's do this. And you'll get a baby chicken. I don't know. Okay, now the baby chicken looks like that. Now we're on to the piggies. The piggies Okay, now the piggies, they use carrots, potatoes, or beetroots. Why does the head look exactly the same for me, at least? And beetroots work as well for this, just to show that. And now, these are the animals that use wheat to be tamed. Mushrooms, sheep, and cows. Now the cow looks like that, the mushroom looks like that, and I'm pretty sure, yep, just like the sheep, what I thought was going to happen with the wolves, the two different colorations will make, will make a different type, I want to see something real quick, I want to see something real quick. Hank. Oh no, red. Let's dye this one red. Let's see what happens. Yep, pink sheep. There we go. Now these three animals are kind of confusing for me at least. It took me a while to get, but you have to tame them, and to do that, you just have to sit on them. It. Shut up. Okay, so now. I don't, uh, let's do an average horse. An average horse uses a carrot. I should probably spawn in them. Horse. And the horse will eat any of these three, just like these guys. All three of them will. Now a horse and a horse. This guy's not tamed, come on. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I am back, and now they are all tamed, I'm pretty sure. And with the horses, they will be activated into love mode. Now they'll have some sort of coloration and pattern that will pass down into their breed. Like how uh, this one's orange, yeah, this one has that type of pattern. And our donkeys use that you know just they'll just be that that's only a thing and I need to do something god dang it I'll be right back okay I am back and I found a fun fact now if you eventually just keep feeding them when they're not tamed they will somehow just become tamed I don't know how that happened but I'm gonna show you what happens when a horse and a donkey. Get close. <sighs> yes, finally. Okay, I finally got them to make a mule. And a mule is just a horse and a donkey. A horse and a donkey to combine. Okay, so now, now this guy, um, I'm gonna use the other guy. Uh, unlead. I have no idea why I made him lead up. Why are you here? Okay, so now I got this to work. Um, with the or the mule, you're able to go somewhat the speeds of a horse, and you're able to carry stuff like a donkey, which is why you need a horse and a donkey to combine. This is how it also works in real life, so. Yeah, this is the tutorial of breeding. Um, I need to add one more part, I just realized, so I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and this is how you breed villagers. Shut up. This is bad. I think of it at least. Okay, so now, when you when villagers breed, they need to have a house. And this, and just simply, uh, I want to get away from that. That's very annoying. That counts as a house. Now, if those two would have stayed, they could have made a baby, but they're going to head towards that one because there's like 60 houses here, technically. I'm going to put them up here. Now, I'm not going to wait so long to find out what a baby looks like, so I'm just going to... That's what a baby looks like. It just has the... Uh... Never mind. Okay. Well, ah. Well, that's very annoying. Well, that's the end of today's video. Bye. Time to blow up all my crap. Stop it, phone. Let me just try to figure this out. I messed up on my own thing, god dang it. There you go. Ah! What the heck? An iron golem spawned. Wow. I spawned that many villages. Okay, well, no. This is the end of today's video. I made a lot of destruction. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Uh...
Okay, well, that's my cue to end the video. How'd you survive? Okay, well, that's the end of today's video. Bye!